So today we're here in the district of North Vancouver and we are going to test our hover map in this um, fairly rugged environment. So the plan is to use the pilot assist uh, to situate the drone uh, and the hover map and then to proceed with a uh, AL2 or fully autonomous flight using uh, waypoint mission planning um, in the, the hover map um, piloting software. And this is a cutting edge technology. Autonomous drone flight is useful for uh, GPS denied environments, but also environments where humans just cannot easily go and may lose visual line of sight quite quickly and therefore rely on the, the drone and the scanner to safely navigate uh, to areas of interest and get the drone back home safe without an incident. We're gonna arm the motors. Basically this hover map is spinning. It's already rendering a, uh, a point cloud locally. And this is a phenomenon known as simultaneous uh, localization and mapping. So it finds its way um, by creating its own map at time of flight. So when you start out, you have a very limited environment through which the, the system navigates, but as it spends more time in the air, sprays the points, it generates its own map and thus can navigate. So at present, it's creating a map of just this area you can see with the best point returns coming from the nose of that rotating puck. Um, but as I lift off and fly, I'll be generating what I need to then go kind of over and beyond the, uh, the brush in that direction. Stand by. So I sort of practice a little maneuver to test the uh, pilot assist. So we try to fly into something and we observe the drone slowing us down to a stop. So it does not want to proceed any further because there is a small tree. So we're going to navigate around, in this case above. Now, as well as seeing a feed from the point cloud, I'm looking at uh, a camera feed from the M300, and that's going to be the primary source of my navigation while I'm still piloting the drone. And as I sort of reach the limit of good Wi-Fi, I stop and I go into my waypoint manager and I set a waypoint off into unknown space. And that's for the hover map to go and exploring. And if it cannot get to the waypoint, it will just hover until I tell it what to do next. And if it's out of Wi-Fi range, it will just initiate a return to home. Uh, it will also initiate return to home at low battery, which is set to 30%. Now it's gonna ask me to set a rally waypoint at the edge of good Wi-Fi. That's a good idea. So it'll come back and regroup at that point instead of coming all the way home. So, I can tell it then to go back out if need be. Now you have to develop complete trust in the system because once you start to lose Wi-Fi, you no longer have a, a reliable video feed. So you are flying blind and you are trusting entirely that the, that the drone is in fact avoiding hazards. And as I can see from my screen it is flying past the transmission tower without any difficulty now it's reached the waypoint so it's going to idle and since i still have connectivity i can tell it to go to a new waypoint now i'm not going to set one further out i'm going to set one closer back toward us and i'm going to confirm and I'm going to send it to that waypoint. So now I have lost Wi-Fi, which means that the drone will come back. Uh, it does take a bit of time to 
make up its mind sometimes if it comes in and out of reliable service. So now it has begun its return journey and I've got a reliable video feed so there's a bit of relief in the fact that I can confirm the drone is still airborne and it is heading back in my direction. Now it's going to get to that rally waypoint I believe still and that's the point at which I can take back over manual control and either send it back out in that direction for another pass or bring it back in for a landing. It all kind of depends on battery of which we are at 74 percent which is actually quite a lot so I could theoretically continue on and uh, perform another little jaunt out there. So it has initiated its return to home function. All right, so a successful AL2 mission. And this just really scratches the surface of the um, the usability of this machine. Um, we can go into much more challenging environments than this one, but uh, this is a great place to learn. Um, it is fairly open. There aren't a lot of people around.